Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about the three properties of congruence. So let's take the first one. We have the reflexive property. By the way, these properties are gonna be used when we prove um, geometric uh, statements. So, but then let's go over this three properties. So let's start with the reflexive property. So any geometric figure is congruent to itself or any number is equal to itself. For example, five is equal to five. We can't say that five is equal to six. No, that is not possible. So five is equal to five. Angle KHT is congruent to angle KHT. So it is congruent to itself. At this time, please try this one out on your own. Okay, what did you have for this? Good, it's AB. So line segment AB is congruent to AB. What did you have for the other one right here? R. R is congruent to R. So pretty much reflexive from the word reflect. It's like when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we see ourself out there. We don't see another person over there. So that would be creepy, but um, we see our own self in the mirror. So just like the numbers we have here, five, it sees itself in the mirror, which is five. It can't, you wouldn't be able to see six in there. So pretty much, or seven or eight. So it has to be itself. So angle KHT is angle KH. They're pretty much the same thing. Okay, let's take the second example right here. Symmetric property. So this symmetric property states that um, if A, A is congruent to B, then B is congruent to A. So what's going on? If A is congruent to B, switch it. B is congruent to A. So pretty much symmetric means we switch it. So we're going to switch them around. So if I have um, A is equal to B, I switch it around. B is congruent to A. So I, I switched it. So let's have an example here. If x is equal to 5, then 5 is equal to x. So what I did was the x and the 5 was switched around, and they're still equal. Now try this 3 out on your own. Okay, what did you have for this one right here? Good. Angle H is congruent to angle W. Good. What about the next one right here? RT is congruent to blank, then PQ is congruent to blank. So this one right here should be PQ. Okay? So if I switch around, PQ is equal to RT. So I just switched it around. So RT is equal to PQ. PQ is equal to RT. Now let's have the third one. Okay. So transitive property. So the statement is, if A is congruent to B that, and B is congruent to C, that means A is congruent to C, since both A and C are equal to B. Now let's have an example to better understand this. Uh, let's take, for example, this one right here. So we have humans eat cow, cows eat grass. What can we conclude then? So let's take this as our A. So humans would be A. And this would be our B. So the cow is B. So that means cow right here would be our B. And the grass is C. So what can we conclude then? We can therefore say that humans eat grass. And that is because A, and then this is C. Now others are going to say, well, I don't eat grass. So we eat the grass from the cow, because the cow was eaten grass. So we didn't eat the actual grass, but we eat the grass that was eaten by the cow. So that's how transitive property work. So if A and B, A is equal to B, and B is equal to C, then that means A is equal to C. Okay, let's take this um, example right here. So if X is equal to three and X is equal to R, so both are equal to X, that means R is equal to three because both of them are 
equal to x. You can switch this around, it doesn't matter. Now try this three blanks on your own. Okay, let's go over this. So if uh, uh, angle W is congruent to angle H and angle H is congruent to angle K. So both W and K angles are congruent to H. So therefore we can go ahead and say angle W is congruent to angle K. So these two are congruent since both of them are congruent to H. Next one right here. RJ is congruent to blank and BC is congruent to TK. Then R, um, RJ is, this is uh, supposed to be just RJ. So there's no angle to this. Let me take that off. So um, what should we put on the blank here? If RJ is congruent to TK, what should I put on the blank here? So this one has to be BC. Okay. Did you get these blanks correct? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.